I'd like to thank the new ladies that have joined us. And gentlemen, welcome to Wedding Wednesdays, brought to you by Atlanta Uplighting and more. Today we're going to talk about what does Kevin Hart have to do with weddings? If Janice Dickinson marries a Rocky, Pippa Middleton gets hitched. I'm jealous. Congratulations, Janice Dickinson gets hitched. Often described as the world's first supermodel, she's had a controversial life, but only a gentleman by the name of Rocky that could settle her down, Dr. Robert Rocky Gurner. Janice goes on to say, when I met Rocky, he first introduced himself to me. I felt like I had seen a unicorn, a one of a kind. He's the brightest and the best, the funniest and the most exciting man I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Thank you, I know. Kevin Hart is not only a comedian, but he became an officiant. Yes, ladies, that's right. He can get you married. I'm trying to get a hold of him. Let's set this up. Give me a call. We'll make it happen. He was with Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Hawaii at Rock The Troops. They were having a great time. Links of the video in the description below of him marrying the couple. Pippa Middleton gets engaged. If you remember, her sister, Catherine Middleton, married Prince William. This is Wedding Wednesday, so for the ladies, we have to compare rings. Guys, share this with your lady friends. She most definitely won't have a problem with finding a wedding dress. This is the dress she wore at her sister's wedding. This happens to be the gentleman wearing pink pants. Well, I know she won't be wearing a little black dress, but she most definitely looks good in it. This is Wedding Wednesdays. You think I was just gonna leave you like that without giving you some numbers and some facts? No, 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 let's take it a step further. All right, so for you political fact checkers and out there, the links of the description are down below. But first, listen to what I'm telling you to just give you a summary of what we're looking at here. So as far as uh, Center of Disease Control and the National Vital Statistics System that they use, marriages are actually declining uh, very steadily, slowly. It's not by massive numbers but they are steadily declining over time. Now, looking at these numbers, they're from 2000 to 2014. We don't have an update yet for 2015 or 16, but 2000 to 2014, that's well around a good generation, probably a, uh, almost two generations. But if we're looking at them very, very closely, the marriages have actually declined if you're looking at uh, per 1,000 of a population, the, in the point tenth of percent have declined on a yearly basis. But on a yearly basis, although they have declined just by slightly, by a tenth of a percent, each year, and it's steady if you, once you look at the link, the population has increased in the millions. Our population continues to grow. So with a slight steady decline in marriages, but massive population growth, that should tell you something. I think there should be somewhat of a change. There should be somewhat of something different going on as far as weddings are concerned. And, I, and I'm not just talking about DJs here. I'm a, a wedding DJ, but I'm not just talking about DJs. I'm talking about the whole industry as a whole. There is changes going on. Also, looking at some of the um, some of the studies that they did, they did some of the studies based on marriage attitudes. Uh, March uh, 17, 2016, uh, National Health Statistics reported that they actually checked some of the attitudes of these age groups, both separating them between men and women, and also uh, between certain age groups. I'm just going to give you a couple of the questions that they asked, um, checking some of the attitudes of men and women in our country. Is it okay um, to have to have and raise children when the parents are living together but not married? By a landslide, uh, both men and women strongly agree to this. So, both men and women are actually looking more towards really just living together, um, learning how to get to get along together, learning how to build a family together, partner together in life, and not looking at 
the wedding or the marriage as a you know as a separate entity from what truly is important uh, i'm sorry they are looking at marriage the the actual marriage itself as a separate entity to truly what's important to them and in, in their morals let's look at another question and this is very important because there's a huge rise in uh, same-sex marriages um, and I by just to let you know I'm putting out there I've put it out there many times before I highly support same-sex marriages uh, if you are a um, you know same-sex couple men or women uh, be happy to reach out to me and we'll be happy to do a wedding for you the question is gay or lesbian adults should have the right to adopt children I want to tell you that men were slightly um, slightly less agreeable to this and women were a little bit more agreeable to this as far as the differences between agreeing and disagreeing both men and women it really weren't that far it was almost split down the middle um, but that has heavily changed since 2000 this is also looking at it in 2016 this statistic was actually drawn uh, let's look at the very last question people can't be really happy unless they have children by a landslide by a landslide like 90 percent of women and more than the high 80 percent of men said they completely disagree with that completely disagree you don't have to have children in order to be happy together so children have nothing to do with your with the couple's happiness um, and at only 7% of women strongly agreed to that and 11% of men strongly agreed to that. So very, very low on that end. So we are having a change in, uh, a change in the demographics uh, in this country uh, for who is approving uh, or who, who approves certain types of same-sex wedding marriages, who approves of living together and creating a family without marriage first. Um, and, you know, things are changing. And with weddings slowly on the decline, slowly, and our population at a huge incline, there is something that's gotta change. Remember I talked to you before on the last wedding Wednesday, I'm sorry, the two wedding Wednesdays ago, I talked to you about something big has to change. Well, what's this thing Rocky's talking about? He's just talking whatever uh, don't listen to him he said something big has to change i'm predicting and i personally would like myself predicting that something huge has to change let me let me just give you one really really true wholehearted thought of mine and why i say this i have a daughter okay i see all these weddings and they're great uh, if my daughter was to get married one day, which she probably will, I don't know, you know, wherever, which way she wants to go, I support her in everything and anything that she ever wants to be and do. But if one day she got married, I most definitely would want it different than any other wedding that I've done. I would want it to be huge, huge and glamorous. I would want something great, spectacular for her, but not breaking the bank, something maybe just different it doesn't have to be all flashy remember our brides and grooms are looking for the intimate wedding they're looking for a smaller more intimate family oriented wedding remember those statistics that i talked about on our first wedding wednesdays now it it doesn't have to be huge and glamorous but it has to be different from the norm most of my critics that will tell me what is he talking about change what what's he going to do He's not going to do nothing. What is he expecting of the industry? What this, what that? No, no, no. The ones that are pushing against it are the ones that have been doing the same thing over and over again. And we know what that means. So again, I stress to you, something huge has to change. Our generation is changing. Our thought process, our morals are changing in this country. The common norm in American weddings and, and marriages that it has to change with the times. It has to update itself. I think things do have to change. That's just my personal opinion. Um, you know, whether I exist or I don't, 
Uh, things can't stay the same forever. Now, the whole ideology in yes, let's get together, we make a pact and we can go ahead and, you know, say that we love each other and sign in a document that says it. I understand that that's, that's factual, that should not change. Legally, it's probably not gonna change. But as far as the ceremony part of it, uh, ceremony or reception, uh, the whole the whole planning process of it, I think we need to incorporate different elements because of the change in our country. That's my personal opinion. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm saying. If my daughter was to ever get married, oh man, it's gonna be different. I would love it to be different, and we all say that. We probably would want that. I'm sure there's many of you out there would want the same thing as well too, but are we really gonna do it? That's the question. Is it really gonna happen? Are we gonna wait until our daughters, our, our, our sons, and it's their time? Are we gonna do it now? Are we gonna make it happen now? Talk to your brides, talk to those grooms, talk to the, your next customer. Think about it. Remember what I told you. Make a change for yourself. In your own business, that may be the breaking point for you. This is Rocky with Atlanta Music DJ. Thank you so much for watching Wedding Wednesdays. I wish you guys all the very best of health, happiness, and success, and happy holidays to all of you. I really, really mean it. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Uh, hit the little bell in the corner so that way you can get updates to these videos. And thank you so very much if you're in Atlanta, Georgia, or any of our surrounding states or cities, please give me a call. I'll be happy to do your wedding for you or we can talk about future endeavors. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.